Today, I have a Funko Pop mystery box to open up on this YouTube channel. What I have in front of me is a Funko Pop mystery box from the company Chow's Collectibles. Chow's has been dropping a massive amount of mystery boxes the past several months. $15 boxes, $50 boxes, more $15 boxes, and even more of those. So, they dropped some $50 boxes, and I was able to get a, a few of them. And this is one of them. This is a $50 box, six pops in each box. So in the past, they've always sold like a minimum of, or a maximum of three, but now they're saying a maximum of one per person. So I got one, my wife had one sent to her. Of course, I'll unbox it on my channel though. And so I don't know if they're doing this, like how they used to do it, where you get four commons and then two like exclusives or grails or vaulted or something. So they're just a little bit different now. A little bit different. So the last, I mean, the, actually the last time I did these boxes for 50 bucks, it was a limit of two per person. But for the past year plus, it's been a limit of three per person, now a limit of one. So either Chalice is running low on stock or they're just making a lot more money on the $15 mystery boxes, which that's what I kind of expect. Suspect, I should say, not expect, suspect. Because the 15 bucks a piece plus shipping, that means with six pops, they're making wow what ninety dollars what i suspect them doing is they're just making more on the fifteen dollar boxes so why make these for 50 when you're you know you're turning a bigger profit on the smaller boxes because it's because they're charging 15 plus shipping and it breaks down to like 21 dollars shipped a box so it's not cheap so are these coming in the white chalice box? Yes, they are. So they still ship these in the white chalice boxes. I know right now too, a lot of places, um, in order just to keep the money flow going, they've been dumping mystery boxes like crazy right now. A lot of companies have been doing that. You know, they haven't been afraid to, afraid to just dump mystery boxes like crazy. I mean, look at chalice and chrono toys and uh, what kind of strange is toy USA? During this time, if you've noticed, they're doing mostly Instagram live like auctions. Because I think they realize that they can turn a huge profit, more of a profit, doing it individual sales on Instagram than do mystery boxes. Because believe it or not, a lot of these companies, um, mystery boxes, you don't really make as much profit as you would if you sold everything individually or single mystery boxes. So a little food for thought. Here we go. Let's see. Feel around. I feel protector, two protectors, and then four without protectors. So looks like they're going back down to the four without protectors, then two with protectors are the better cop or the better pops. I can't talk. Oh, I can't talk tonight. Here we go. First one, no protector. Which one is it? The back of it does say Lion King, and it is Simba. This is just the common Lion King, mass produced. Everybody has gotten like what, five of these out of mystery boxes in the past. So this one's not gonna be a very expensive one, but let's go ahead to a box condition. We got a decent corner ding here on the corner. Won't really affect the value a whole lot unless you're super picky about your box condition. But all in all, it's not bad. It's like 8.5 out of 10 condition. Okay, next one, no protectors. It's just gonna be a common pop. Oh, but looking at me. We have the Joker, the 1989 Joker. And it, it is not the chase, but this chase of this Joker right now is insanely popular. I mean, people are just dying to get this chase. I think chase is going for like, what, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, or maybe even more than that now. I don't know. But I know Chalice, they actually were offering a deal months ago where you could have bought the common Joker and the chase for like 45 or 50 dollars for the bundle. Looking back now, if you bought that deal at that time, you got a bargain. So this is a common one, Joker. And I will be doing some of the, as I call it the chase game, a lot of people call it chase roulette. I will be doing it with this pop eventually. I just got a, I'm just waiting for like Hot Topic or Box Lunch to stop the website. Then I'll buy, you know, 15 or 20 of these to see how many chases that I can get from the Joker 1989 version. Okay, next one, no protector. The back says Walking Dead, and we've got Daryl Dixon with a huge scuff in the window. That's not coming out. 
But we got the, the most recent Daryl Dixon, the aged Daryl Dixon, the time jump Daryl Dixon from the newest season. Uh, what, what, what season are we on right now? Season 10, I think, right? I think so. I think it's season 10. That we're currently on. The finale episode has not been aired yet due to post-production got shut down. So they're supposed to air the final episode of season 10 this fall sometime. They haven't even started shooting the next season yet because of all the lockdowns and everything. So season, I think pretty sure the next season, season 11, I bet you won't be out till next year. Because usually, what they usually do is they shoot in the springtime, like April, May, June. And then they do post-production and then they release in, in October. So they're pretty much, by the time they record The Walking Dead, to go on TVs, like between about five months, as, as long as six. So if they don't record till this fall, you're looking at 2021 till we see the next season of The Walking Dead. So anyway, my little spiel. Next, Common Pop, no protector. Back one says The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, Alien, Maggie. So this box right now, uh, Pretty much, this is a lot of the 2019 pops that they're just getting rid of, I think, because, you know, all these have gone through their initial run, if you want to call it that. So, yeah, I think they're just dumping a lot of these off, but that's fine. I mean, honestly, for $50, it's, it's, this box is actually a really good deal. So, hopefully they start doing these more, but I, I do understand why they're doing this single mystery box one per one pop per box because they make i know a lot more money doing it that way so we got two left each one is in a soft protector i don't know which one's better we'll just do the one that's the closest to me first here we go first one pop protector and it is oh the back is iron spy is this that overseas exclusive yep i think this was originally like what walgreens or something um, so this is the special edition Iron Spider from Avengers Affinity, Infinity War. So this is like 2018, I think, right? 2018 pop. So, yeah, they're just moving out a lot of their old, their old stock, which, I mean, that's what half these mystery boxes are. They're just moving old stock, you know, dead stock that they, that they can't sell anymore. So Iron Spider with the special edition sticker. I mean, box condition... Still looks pretty good. I don't see major damage on it through the pop protector. Hopefully this isn't like the big hit in that box. Hopefully. Last one, pop protector. This one's all for all the marbles. Will this be a big hit or will it be something kind of dud? I would love to get the Joker 1989 chase out. I'd love that. But here we go. Last one, pop protector. We have... I see Fun Days 2018. Come on. Be something good. I still haven't seen it yet. I can't see it in the camera screen. Still can't see it. Here we go. Some good. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's the uh, the Dumb and Dumber. Uh, the 5,000 piece limited exclusive 2018. Uh, so this is from Dumb and Dumber. You got Jim Carrey and uh, was it the other guy? Uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, Oh, I'm drawing a blank of the character's name. Harry and Lloyd. Yeah, so this is Harry. This is the character of Harry. Because uh, Lloyd was the orange suit. Harry was the blue suit. And actually, the orange suit's worth more, I think. So that's actually it's not a bad pop to get out. This is probably worth the entire box right here. Got a 5,000 piece, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, Harry as uh, Freddy Funko. So, you know what? That's not a bad hit. I'm not complaining about the hit whatsoever. So, yeah. Give me all these old pops right here if you want. You give me this, I am not upset. So now, let's see some value. I'm just going to use the Funko app. The first pop, we got Simba, a whole six bucks. The Joker, 1989. Right now it's worth 14 bucks, but it's a brand new pop, so that price is going to be a little bit inflated, but with still, we'll count the full $14 value. Next, we got Daryl Dixon. It is worth a whole nine bucks. Next, we got The Simpsons, her Treehouse of Horrors, Alien at Maggie. She's worth the whole eight bucks. Iron Spiders is actually, it's a Target exclusive. I was wrong, but worth the whole $14. The last one, this is actually worth a lot less than I thought it was going to be worth. It's only booking out at $31. I thought it was worth more than that, but still, it's not a bad hit, though. 
So the total of all six pops comes in at a whole $82 in value. So I, I spent 50 plus, you know, shipping costs, but we don't count shipping costs because that's not actually cost they get to keep. That goes to the shipping company, which are one they use. So I spent 50, got back 82. So I mean, not a bad deal. If I sold, which I'm going to sell everything here, some of these stuff will, some of this will be available on eBay. Some of it won't. The stuff you don't see like this will be available locally, you know, because these common pops I don't put on eBay because I'm not going to sell this thing for $6, you know, plus shipping because when it's all said and done, I can sell this locally for like 8 bucks and make more money selling it locally and not putting it online for sale. So, yeah, some of these you will be seeing on my eBay store. So, directly into my eBay store down below. You want to buy something or shop the hundreds of items I have for sale. So, I'll see you next time with another Chow's Collectibles Mystery Box.